Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. This video, I wanna talk about inheritance in PHP and object-oriented programming. So, with that said, let's start off by showing you just how, how inheritance works, how to do it. So the first thing we need is we need a parent class. So we're gonna call this one daddy, and we're gonna create the class, and then we'll put inside of it a public method. So public function my method, and in this method, we'll just have it echo out something simple so I'm the parent okay so that creates our that creates our parent class and then if we come down here we'll do class create a new class called son and here we'll use extend so the extends keyword is is what you need in, in order to in, in order for her, inheritance so we'll extend daddy and we'll do this, and we won't put anything else inside of this. And then we'll do child equals new son, like this. And then we'll do child my method. So with this, what we're doing is we've created a parent class called daddy and a child class called son. And we're actually instantiating a new instance of the child class that has no methods or properties of its own but we're calling my method, which is from the parent class here. So if we run this, you see we get the output from my method. So that's essentially inheritance. When you uh, extend a class, then the class doing the extending, which is considered the child class, so son in this case, will inherit any public or protected methods from the parent. It won't inherit private ones, and we'll look at that here in just a second. And then again, just to be clear, the class that is doing the extending, so son is the one doing the extending, that's the child. The one being extended is the parent. All right, so as we mentioned, it'll it'll do uh, public and protected methods will inherit. If you do a private method, so something like this, And we try to run, oops, let's go ahead and type function. And we try to run that method from our, our child object here. What we'll get is a fatal error that says that we can't do that. It's a call to a private method. So it's only going to inherit public and protected methods. And one important thing too to note is if we change this to protected, and we come down here. This can be, a, I, I see people get confused with this a little bit. So remember, we're assuming that, that this is in, inherit, it can, son can inherit this protected method, right? So, oh, I can do this. But actually what you're doing is you're calling this from really the public space. So you could only use, when this is set as protected, you could only use it inside of here. So we could, could create a, function inside of here that then calls my method and you could run that but out here is actually considered the public uh, space okay so that's one thing I know gets people a little bit confused all right so the other thing that you can do is you can also override inherited methods so let's go up here uh, and let's let's create a, a variable so we'll do public we'll do var equals Call me daddy. Okay, and then we will come down here and we'll create one public var equals, uh, that's creepy. No. Okay, so what we've done is we now have the same variable inside of both daddy and both inside of son, so inside the parent and the child. And then let's create uh, another method here called public and function, and this will call my method, just like we have in our parent. And here we'll do echo this var, and we'll actually change this up here 
to echo this var. Okay, so what we've got here is my, we now have a property inside of our class called var, and we're now in our my method method, we are just echoing out what that says. And then down here, we're overriding both the property and the method in a sense. So if we come down here and let's go ahead and keep this one in place, but let's now instantiate a new instance of uh, our parent equals new daddy. And we will call parent my method. Okay, so we're instantiating instance of daddy and we're calling it directly here. Okay, so that should give us call me daddy. However, down here, we are calling instantiating instance of son and we're calling my method from there. So we are, we're actually call, calling the overridden both property and method here. So if we, if we play this out, uh, and we call, let's see, oh, I changed this protected, so let's change this back to public. And rerun this. Okay, so what you see here is in the first instance, we get the, the, the variable from the parent. In the second instance, however, we've overridden both of those, and so now we get, uh, no, uh, that's creepy, no. So we get this down here. So this is how you can override methods and properties inside of classes. And, and, and this is when you're dealing with inheritance, this is one of the things that, that you're going to do in a, a decent amount. And you'll notice there's no sort of errors or anything like that, even though both of these, you know, we have my method in both classes, there's no sort of errors or anything like that because that's how inheritance works in PHP and object-oriented programming. So again, it allows you to inherit inherit the public and protected methods from a parent class. It also allows you to override them and be able to then change them and do what you want in your child class. Now, one example just to, for, for use case is, that I've worked with, I know, is WordPress widgets. So when you create a new widget in WordPress, you actually extend the built-in WP widget class, and then you write some very specific methods inside of your, your class that will override the defaults that are in WP widget. And then WordPress kind of knows how to put it all together in order to make your, your widget work. So that's one example of where you might do this. There might be others where, you know, you have some sort of framework or package or maybe API uh, SDK or something that you're working with and you want to use methods from it but there's maybe you want to override the way some particular thing is being done that's specific to how your application is going to work. There's, again, there's a num number of different uh, reasons why you might do this sort of thing. So that's inheritance in object-oriented programming and PHP. Of course, if you want to take all this object-oriented programming training and learning even further, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash OOP and learn about my full object-oriented programming course where I'm going to teach you to build prof professional applications using object-oriented programming in PHP. Again, that's johnmorrisonline.com slash OOP. All right, thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you do subscribe, hit the little bell button so you make sure and get notified when I post new videos. And we'll talk to you next time.